Weakly electric fish, such as the elephant nose fish or the knife fish, aren't able to produce the same huge amount of electricity as the electric eel or the electric ray. They just don't have a big enough battery. But what they are able to do is create a weak electrical field around them and then use electroreceptors in their skin to pick up the distortions created by nearby objects. So these fish are essentially seeing and using electricity, which is a really useful trick in the murky waters that they're normally found in. Even more amazing is that these receptors can be used to detect the discharges of other electric fish. And in some cases, information can be passed between individuals, such as what sex they are, what species they are, and even if they're ready to mate.